Hello everybody, you know what time it is. I just posted a deck profile video, so it's time for another combo video. As per all the other times I power shuffle, but I'm going to go ahead and shuffle a bit more so you know I'm not stacking anything. This is going to be the uh, budget Cyber Dragons that I did earlier, just to show you what this one is capable of. We're going to start off going second because this is a going second base deck. You really don't want to go first with this one if you can help it because you just can't really set up as many good boards. The most you can end on is maybe Infinity if you go into it and the trap. But uh, more often than not, you're just going to want to go second. So let's start with a starting hand, assuming we're going second. That's pretty good. We at least have a disruption there. That's good. That's really good. That's really good. And that's pretty good. So let's just say we have to use the effect failure for something because any disruption is better than nothing. And again, from what I said in my other video, you can use uh, other hand traps if you want. I just do effect failure because it's a light monster you can use for a galaxy soldier. And then drawing for turn. That's more of a going first card, so that, that's okay if we can't end up killing them. Uh, the goal here is pretty much to just get four monsters on the board so that we can go into Vertanaconda to summon out Rampage and Seeger to boost it. That's pretty much going to be your main win condition of the deck. So how we are going to start that is going to be... Well, here we actually have a couple lines. We can go into Infinity to remove a problem card if we need, but I guess just to show you generally what you'll be doing, generally you're just going to want to go for four monsters. So you can start off... I guess we'll start off with Hurts. We would normal summon Hurts. You can trigger Vier if you want, but right now you don't actually want to do that because we have the machine duplication, and if you summon Vier, Vier boosts every Cyber Dragon monster by 500 attack and defense, and that would put Hertz at 600. Machine duplication requires them to be a monster with 500 attack or less, so then we wouldn't be able to use this. So don't trigger Vier just yet. You're first going to trigger machine duplication, and that is going to get us the other Cyber Dragons from our deck. We get to summon out two of them. And if you want, you can attempt to go to Infinity. Before we do that, we just summon the Cyber Dragon. So now we're going to trigger Vier because getting free special summons is always nice. So if we wanted to, we could actually... Actually, yeah, we can do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Hertz and Vier to link summon out... Vertanaconda. And then just to give ourselves some plays, we can trigger Hurts in the Grave. And we can add the other Cyber Dragon from the deck to our hand if we want. And actually, I guess to get some extension plays, yeah, let's go ahead and do that because we have the Noxter in our hand. So let's go ahead and add that from the deck to the hand. And then we just want to protect the rest of our plays that we do, so we're going to go ahead and go for... Nova, and you can summon something else from the grave if you want, but we don't need it because we have Noxter, so we're just going to go right into Infinity so that we play around some other stuff, like if they're holding on to... I mean, if they're holding on to Nibiru, we're kind of already screwed, but... But just to help protect against any other plays it would have, so go straight into Infinity so you have the Omni Gate to further protect yourself. Then you're going to trigger Noxter from hand, you're going to pitch the Cyber Dragon to the grave... To summon that out, and using its effect, it allows you to, when it's normal, special summoned, summon a Cyber Dragon from the grave with 2100 attacks. So we're going to bring back that Cyber Dragon that we pitched, but when you do that, you're locked into machines. That's why we wanted to summon the, uh, the Vartanaconda first, because it is not a machine. So now we're going to use these to link summon out our Seeger. Attempt to accurately go link zones here. I have kind of limited space. <laughs> uh, then we're going to use Verte Anaconda. Since we don't need a special summon for the rest of the turn, we're going to pitch the overload fusion to the grave. And then from the grave, we are going to banish... We could potentially go into some special summons later, so we're just going to banish the Vier and the Hertz. We're going to keep Noxture and Cyber Dragon in the grave in case we can special summon that out and get two special summons later. 
And that is going to give us our Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. And since we use two monsters to summon it, we can pop two opponents back row if we need that. I just realized I sent Seeger to the grave when I didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie. That's not what you would do. He's still on the field. <laughs> and from here, you pretty much just go to the battle phase. At the start of the battle phase, you use Seeger to... Oh, no, wait. No, 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 no. Let's be a smart Cyber Dragon player and remember Chimera Tech's other <laughs> effect. Let's remember to send Su two Cyber Dragon monsters from the deck to the grave. Uh, I guess let's just do Core and another Vier since we won't really be needing those immediately. Then that gives it two more attacks, so now it has three. Now you enter the battle phase. Use Seeger to boost up. Rampage, so now it's at 42, it has three attacks. Attack their other monsters with these to help clear stuff out. And this is usually going to be enough to swing for game. And even if you don't swing for game, you have the overflow as a backup. You can set it. You have the infinity to set up for some plays. And again, this is all assuming no disruption. And remember, this is Cyber Dragon. You can still run into a lot of other problems. But that is a pretty standard play you would want to go for if you were running Cyber Dragons. You generally want to end up going second because going first usually doesn't work out well for you. I'll do. I'll demonstrate a. Uh, I can demonstrate a going first hand, but generally you're going to want to go second more often than not because you just with this particular reel you don't really end up setting up some good going uh, first hands. The most you could go for is maybe infinity, and I guess end on Seeger to attempt to help to protect it as well as the uh, as well as the trap but again this is a going second deck through and through but nevertheless I will go ahead and demonstrate that because why not okay so this time with the starting hand let's assume that we are going first Okay, that's actually pretty good. That's decent. Uh, okay, that's a lot better. Than, and that's phenomenal. Okay, so we have a couple options that we can do here. The fact that we have a machine duplication and one of our Cyber Dragon monsters under uh, 500 attack to be able to get two Cyber Dragons on the field is great. We also have access to another Cyber Dragon card if we need it. In this particular instance... Uh, Cyber Emergency, ironically, doesn't really do much for us at the current moment. But I guess from here, I mean, it, it, it always helps just to fire it off anyway, just in case you can bait, off, bait out an Ash Blossom or something else. Because generally when you go for Cyber Emergency starting off, that's a prime target to stop. So I guess to help with... I guess for later plays for here, we can go for Noxter in case we ever need that, because we already have some of our other prime targets. Uh, we're going to normal summon out Core. We are not going to trigger Veer because that would put it over 500 and we wouldn't be able to resolve machine duplication. And so we're going to activate the effect of Core. Searching out a Cyberspell Trap. Remember, we're going first in this instance so you can go for other plays like you can grab a cyber repair plan or a cyber rev system for extension but we're going first so we want to set up as much disruption as possible so I'm gonna go for the trap and we're going to activate machine duplication we're going to get our other cyber dragons I'm going to go ahead and go for Nova. Oh, before that, uh, Trigger Vier. Try, try not to miss your... Uh, we'll put it over here. Try not to miss your timing on that. Your opponent will call you out for that. Now we'll go for Nova. That's my deck. That's not my extra deck. <laughs> go for Nova. 
Um, we can attempt to set up some other stuff, I guess. Uh, just depends on how many, how greedy we want to get with that, actually. Ah, screw it. We're just having fun. Let's do it. We'll go for a Link Summon into Seeger. Just to be able to boost it up if we need that. We have two Seeger in our extra deck, so we can play around with that if we need. And then we can go ahead... We'll, we'll go ahead and detach the uh, Cyber Dragon to summon out another one. That way we can boost it with Seeger if we need as well. And then we'll go into Infinity. Remember, you don't want to overextend, but I mean, it's Cyber Dragon. You're vulnerable to a lot anyway. And this is unfortunately pretty much the end board we are going to end on in addition to setting the overflow. And we have three pops with it because we have the core and the veer and the grave and then we can send this if we need to as well. We have the Omni Negate. This isn't the craziest going first board as you can uh, as you can see. Like I said, this deck wants to go second more than anything else. But this is this is decent. This is given the hand that we were given, assuming no disruption, this isn't half bad. But again this deck just wants to go second. This this deck focuses more so on trying to play through stuff and breaking boards rather than it does making them. But uh, anyways, that is going to do it. Hope you enjoyed and have a good rest of the day.